so in this video I'll be showing you a visualizer that is open to the public that means everyone can use it and it is updated pretty well actually so this visualizer has been modified by crypto dude in LWG that's like in warlord guild so shout out to crypto dude for doing a great job on this and he does his best to keep it as updated as he possibly can and I'll have a link to this website in the description of the video it's going to be the first link so make sure you check it out this tool is going to be great to uh, help people uh, design their builds basically and I'll quickly just be explaining how this works so you got your main board right here and to the left you'll be able to select any objects that you want to place on the board for example a uh, dirt road I just click it and then I click on the tiles on the board if I want to remove an object either click the same object that I have selected or I can search for this uh, bomb icon which is like the remove button and then click on whatever I want to remove it now at the top there's a couple of options uh, I can change the biome uh, from forest to plains or desert or empty just clears the whole board uh, but say I change it to planes, I can also change the orientation, which would affect where the uh, trade depot is at. Let's keep it at north. And I can also change the biome edges. So it says none on all four edges. But if I click it once, it goes to river. Clicking at it again goes to ocean. Then again goes to mountains. And finally, one more time, it goes back to none. So I could do this to set up the biome edges however I would like them to, like so. And there's also another option called overlay display that's going to show you basically how much passive water there is or you can set it to shade. Uh, yeah, as you see, the mountain is casting shade so you can see how that works. Or energy, if you had your power plant set up or even dirty, so as you see, that's going to greatly help you out when you're designing a build. And say, well, you can place down any object you want, and it's, of course, going to update with the overlay display that you have. So if I place down the silo, it's going to cast more shade, like so. And let me show you. It also has, like, the crafts and the stats to the objects. So if I place down a tree, say, right here, where it says one passive water, you can see right here... Uh, to craft wood, it requires five water, but I only have one. And it's just highlighting the green craft timer because there's nothing negatively impacting it. So if it, if it does have enough water to craft wood, it would craft it at 60 seconds, it says. Um, now, if I put it closer to, say, uh, a building that casts shade, like over here, then it's going to highlight the red craft timer for you. For you. Um, I don't have any spots where I would have five passive water here, but I could just like place down some road, some fonts to show you. So if I place down the tree farm right here and then place down some ponds, like so, you can see it's going to have six passive water there. And I'll just place on another tree farm nearby. There you go. You're going to be able to see that it has enough water for the wood. And it it's pretty well updated. It's not completely updated. So as of recording this video, if I were to place down an Italian restaurant, um, it's only going to have the first three crafts. If I can see, it's not going to have risotto or lasagna. But it is pretty well updated. You can still easily design a build like this. It's going to help you out. Um, if you place down a building and it has like a red circle, that means it's not meeting the edge requirements. It's letting you know an Italian restaurant requires a paved road. So as you can see, I put down a paved road and now it is meeting the edge requirements. Uh, you can also search for things like if you wanted to quickly find a windmill, you could just type wind as you can see. On the NFTs, you can also search for things. So like if I wanted a water tower, I could put tower and there you go. All the water towers and then the haunted magic tower as well. And to the right, it's going to show you the stats for the entire board, uh, how much cash is being used in this design, the wages and the number of the all the buildings that you have placed. 
And at the bottom, you can see a way to basically save your design in a text file and then you'll be able to load it up uh, later on or, sh you know, share it with other people. You can also click the clear button to clear the entire thing. Now, let me refresh it because there is one thing I want to double check. Okay, so just to let you know, if you do refresh it, it's going to go back to normal. So you do want to be uh, saving your builds because consistently you want to be... Uh, yeah, you want to make sure you save your builds because if you leave this up and it refreshes or you turn off your computer or close the browser and you don't save it well your design's not going to get saved for you so you got to make sure you manually uh save your design just to let you know on that part uh but yeah this is a great visualizer that anyone can use hopefully i explained it well and shout out to crypto dude for uh basically modifying this and making sure it's uh up to date so there you go. Uh, if you found this helpful, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, consider subscribing if you haven't done so. I appreciate your support and thanks for watching.